it came to pass in those days when Augustus Caesar sent out an order to all people in the countries that were under the Roman rule. The order said everybody's name should be on the list. This was the first counting of all the people while Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone traveled to their own hometowns to have their name put on the list. Joseph left Nazareth in a town of Galilee and went to the town of Bethlehem in Judea. It was known as the city of David. And Joseph went there because he was the family of David. Joseph registered Mary because he was engaged to him. She was now pregnant. While Joseph and Mary were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have a baby. He gave birth to her first to her first son. son. She wrapped him up well and she laid him in the manger. She put him there because all the rooms were full. That night some shepherds were out in the field washing their sheep. The angel of the Lord appeared to them. And light that comes from God was shining all around them. The angel said to them, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I have some very good news for you. News that will make everyone happy. Today your Savior was born in the city of David. He is Christ the Lord. 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 This is how you know him. He will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. There was a song about that in fifth grade when I was in chorus. All of a sudden, a huge army of angels from heaven joined the first angel. And they were all praising God, saying, Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Let there be peace on earth and goodwill toward every person. Every person. The angels left the shepherd and went back to heaven. The shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem and let's see what the angel told us about. So they went running and found Mary and Joseph. It was real. There was a baby lying in the major. Born, born, born in Bethlehem. <laughs> yes, <there you> <laughs>